Has anyone ever asked you who is your favorite Bible Christmas character? Well, my favorite is Simeon. Well, apart from Jesus. I mean, it's also interesting. But in the second chapter of Acts, we read about Simeon. Do you remember Simeon? I have this wonderful little statue to remind me of Simeon. And I think it's one of my very favorite Christmas items that I have here in the house. But why Simeon? I think Simeon blesses me the most because he had eyes to see. When he saw Jesus, Mary and Joseph brought him in that day to the temple to dedicate him and present him before the Lord. And he saw that baby and he took him up in his arms and he said, Lord God, now your servant can die because I have seen the Lord's Christ. I've seen the anointed one. What an amazing thing to recognize this little baby that didn't look any different than any other little Jewish boy being brought in that day but he recognized the anointing. He recognized that this was the Lord's anointed one sent to bring redemption and salvation, and he began to proclaim that. But you know, there's an all-important uh, second coming that we are supposed to be looking for. That first coming was essential. The first coming was so important. The first coming brought us our salvation, but it's the second coming that will bring us the full fruit of that salvation, that will bring the glorification of our spirit, soul, and body, the catching away of the church, and the, the, the final, final, final uh, blessings of our salvation that have been promised to us. So I pray that this Christmas we all have eyes like Simeon to recognize the coming of the Lord and to be getting ready. You know, he lived his whole life looking and watching and waiting for that first coming. So I pray that you and I, that the whole church, the whole body of Christ will be watching and looking and waiting for the Lord's Christ. And just as the Bible says, even in the book of, the, of Revelation, oh, come Quickly, Lord Jesus, come. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for my friends. I pray for them, Lord, that this Christmas will be the most blessed Christmas as we look back on your first coming and give thanks to God for what you've done. But Lord, as people of faith, we look forward to the second coming and the catching away of the church of Jesus Christ so that we might forever be in your presence, Lord. Even so quickly come, Lord Jesus, come. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas. Have a blessed day with your friends and family. Even if it you wind up and you're all by yourself, you're not alone because we have each other. We have the Holy Spirit. We have Jesus. Hallelujah. And we have 2011, which will be the greatest year that's ever been for you and for me. So we have all that to look forward to. Merry Christmas and God bless you.